Uh, I have one question. Could you please complete the sentence? I value TME for <laughs> um, for their for their white stock, uh, for their quick availability of products uh, of of our products to the market. Oh, thank you. That's yes. wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Electronica, me and Agnieszka can complete our sentences. We for read example, our minds. For example, yeah. in 1982, Mr. Jeffrey Lynn was looking for a name for his company. So he opened the dictionary and found exactly what he was looking for. Mean well, which means to have good intentions. And our next interview is going to be exactly with mean well that produces power supplies. Let's hear them out. Uh, we are at Meanwell stand at Electronica 2022 with uh, Mr. Mirten. Nice to Hi. meet you. Hi, Alex. Nice hey. to meet you. Uh, I know that uh, last time Meanwell have been to Electronica was like four years ago. That's right. Uh, has something changed uh, since the last four years? Actually, uh, quite a lot have changed. Um, since uh, four years ago, we introduced many new products for the market. Uh, we completely renewed our charger products. Uh, we have uh, chargers now from 120 watts up until 1700 watts. Uh, we made the chargers more compact, we make them more efficient, uh, we added some more programmable chargers to our series. Uh, we also completely renewed our inverter series. So now we have an inverter series going from 250 watts all the way up to 3200 watts. These, uh, these inverter series, uh, they're also more compact, uh, more efficient than the ones we used to have. Uh, and also we introduce a special series, the NTU series, which also has a UPS function. Um, also for LED lighting we introduce more new products. Um, for the outdoor lighting we introduce now the 20 watt XLG. And also we uh, pushed up the range all the way to 320 watt. So that were the two new products for the outdoor environment. And then, completely unique for Meanwhile, we introduced uh, the LED series uh, with K and X. So we introduce constant voltage LED drivers and constant current LED drivers. Right, so that is very specific to, uh, to Meanwell because there are no other companies in the market who have such products. We also made uh, new products for high voltage applications. Mm -hmm. So these high voltage applications, we will have uh, output voltage up to 400 volt uh, DC. Uh, very special in the, in the market. We any? then also have. Uh, so, uh, yeah, sure, sure. Sorry, if you have any questions, no, no. just let me know. And yeah, the last uh, bigger development we have is uh, the outdoor charging function. Uh -huh. So we have now outdoor chargers for 200 watts, uh, complete with cable and connector. And we also have now chargers for, for 600 watts, 1000 watts, 2300 watts. IP67 and programmable charging curves. Oh, that's very impressive. Hey, is it possible to go through them, to see them uh, right here in your stand? Yes, we can, okay. uh, we can have a look around. So, for example, below here you see the, the PWM series. It's a constant uh, voltage uh, power supply. So it has a PWM output with a frequency up to, uh, to four, 4 kilohertz. So inside the 60 watt uh, and the 200 watt version, we have a KNX module. So, very traditionally, lighting is mostly steered in, uh, in Europe via DALI. Right? But a complete building is normally not operated with, uh, with DALI. Uh, there are other systems like Modbus or KNX. For me, well, KNX is actually one of the most uh, complete systems in the market for building automations. So, we decided we make this development and we will have LED drivers with KNX inside. Right, we have it for constant voltage, we also have it for, for constant current applications. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Right. So um, the two new outdoor LED drivers I introduced to you, that's where the 20 watt XLG and the 320 watt uh, 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 XLG as well. For the higher power uh, XLG drivers, we are also introducing now the DALI 2 versions. Mm -hmm. So for, for, for the LED market, that are the new developments we, uh, we have. From Mimo's side, we believe a lot in, uh, in building automation. So we started actually with the KNX, with a very compact KNX uh, power supply some years ago. We expanded our series with actuators. And now the latest new development we have is uh, a DALI controller, the DLC02. And we have a DALI2, uh, KNX2 DALI gateway, the DLC02KN. Um, the controller and the gateway, they actually have two DALI buses, of two channels. So it means that each channel is actually can uh, control up to 64 DALI devices. Right? Then we also introduced uh, a new DALI driver, that is the LCM40TW, tunable white, and that is with a D28 uh, protocol. How, do, how can I control this? Uh, can it, is, uh, it is via DALI. So there, uh, it is controlled via the, via the DALI bus. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. and uh, I know that maybe some of them you can, uh, some of the uh, LED drivers you can also connect via Bluetooth? But, uh, yeah, but we, we don't have these kind of products. Okay. No. I, I, was, uh, I was sure that we have some is something very similar to we this. Had, uh, we had, we had uh, in the past, we, okay, maybe we have LCM and Ocean, right? We have one protocol uh, where we use Bluetooth, and then we have some protocols where we use uh, Zigbee. Ah, yes, okay. Right? So we use, for example, Tuya and, and Silver, mm -hmm. right? And that is then uh, for wireless communication. So here you can see uh, some examples of the new charger series we introduced. In the past, we had uh, the PB series, which was more bulky, uh, less efficient. And now we introduce the, uh, the MPB series. The MPB series is certified for 63C5, Dash 1 and also Dash 2. So it is a standalone product uh, as a charger. Uh, some of these chargers, they also have in intelligence inside. So they be can be controlled, by uh, uh, programmed mm -hmm. by a special device. And then the user can optimize the charging curve based on the specific batteries they want to use. All right. So Alex, these are the harsh environmental uh, products uh, to, to, uh, which I explained to you before. So we actually have a complete uh, line of harsh environment uh, power supplies. Um, but then from the 600 watt, we have some specific models which also have a charging curve inside. So we have a 600 watt uh, fully potted power supply, we have a 1000 watt. And then the very latest is this uh, 2300 watt. So this 2300 watt, it is a power supply, but also a charger. So there is a charging curve inside, and the user can decide how they want to use it. We will have different versions. We will have one with a terminal side, so a terminal block. With this terminal block, uh, the user can use their own cabling to mount. Mm -hmm. We also have its uh, specific connectors, which are used in the telecom industries. So this kind of uh, power supply is also very suitable for outdoor telecom applications. Mm -hmm. right? The third versions we have are actually with uh, flying leads. Right? And based on the quantity of the, of the end user, we can uh, change the cable length, uh, we can add connectors to this uh, power supply to shoot uh, the application of, uh, of the user. Okay, so those are for uh, mostly for telecom applications. Yeah, not 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 so only this, this one. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we also have customers which use it to power outdoor LED displays, uh -huh. for example, right? Or for customer who needs a charging application somewhere outdoor. Mm -hmm. right? So actually, the uses is 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 uh, yeah, I would not say unlimited, but it's uh, some customers they will even use it indoor because it's fanless. Because right? it's what? It is fanless. Uh -huh. There is no there is no fan inside. So if you have a very dusty uh, factory environment, um, then you don't want a power supply with a fan. The fan that can cause uh, contamination inside the power supply, and it will you, uh, lead to an early failure. Mm -hmm. right? This kind of power supply, it is fully potted, so it can be used also in dirty, uh, dirty environments. Yeah, we can see those ribs here to. Yeah, the ribs there for yeah. for cooling. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> So maybe um, 
could you please tell us what Meanwell plans for the future, what uh, the next products that we can see from Meanwell in the, few, in the next few years? Um, in, in general, for, for Meanwell, we will look at more uh, compact products, uh, more energy efficient products, and also more smart products. Now you see already in the, for the battery products, we, uh, we put in the digital controller uh, so that the charging curve can be programmed. We do that also now in products for, for harsh environments. Uh, we also did it in the past already for some high power uh, rack applications or high power power supply. So mini miniaturization, uh, more efficiency and uh, digitally controlled. Right? That's, that's actually what we are looking at. Um, we have really a lot of different products for, for a lot of different markets. So for us it's always interesting also always to look at niche markets. Right? When niche markets uh, are there, uh, normally quantities are less high. And as meanwhile, we make every product standard. Right? So if you need one piece, you can already buy it. If you need 10,000 pieces, you can also get it from meanwhile. So it's very suitable for those markets. And the other uh, thing I enjoy actually most is new markets which are coming up. The new upcoming markets, they always look for power solutions. Yeah, and that is why we are also here at Electronica. Right? We, we are here to talk with the engineers and to see what their needs are. And then maybe it gives us new ideas to develop new products. Yeah, to see for innovation and see where you can expand your portfolio. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, thank you, Mirten. It was okay. a nice conversation with you. Okay, Alex, okay. you're welcome.